Jack's about to take me out in his 301 brake horsepower fully forged Lanza with bucket seats and that. So, I'm just gonna wait here for him. <laughs> Jack. This car's pretty fucking mad. Decent. Harness on the harness. This must be a Norman in a rush, right? If you need a shit, it's going to be hard to get out of this thing. Well, yeah. It's not ideal when you pop to the shops, to be honest. How do we do the windows up in this thing? You have electric windows? Yeah. That's mad. No, well, don't touch that one though, because that's a bit temperamental. Okay. Oh, God. Yeah.
for ID channel, weren't it? Yeah, Jamie did a, a video of it, which to be honest, that helped me to buy it because you knew what you was getting yeah, into before you bought it. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, when the old owner, George, uh, still keep in contact with me, sure. helped me out, to be fair, when it's a question I don't know, but yeah, I uh, saw that video and sort of knew what I was buying. And when George took me out in it, he, was, he said to me, like, you ready? And I thought, oh, I've been, you know, I've been in a, a few quick cars. Uh, Yeah, it was, it was mental. 
so. In all fairness, you do have crazy stretch tyres on them. Yeah, well, the rears were a bit stretched, the front, the front was stretched first before after I done the engine conversion, I had a bit of bulge on the front. Um, but yeah, no, it was, I, I don't know, every, I read the reviews on the tyres and they said they weren't the best, but these semis were um, ten times better in the wet than the other ones were. Yeah. But, which was quite surprising to be honest, I weren't expecting that. Yeah, I mean, like, what's like, didn't this used to have a screw up coming out of the bonnet? Yeah, the video of Jamie FYD done. Yeah. Yeah. The video of Jamie FYD done, he had a screw up straight from the bonnet. When I bought it off George, um, he had, uh, obviously had the manifold, different manifold on it, or reworked one or the other, but um, he didn't have which, to be honest, it did look quite mad in the video, but it's like, it's asking for a pull, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Got a pipe sticking in your bonnet, mate. Yeah. What's going on here, like? Popping flames. That's um. No, I don't think that's factory. No, there's, there's certain things you, you know, you wouldn't even want to risk. But no, it's a. Yeah, that was a, that was good watching the video on it, but personally, wouldn't go down that route. Yeah, especially if you have to like. You don't drive this like every now and then. Like at one point, you were driving sort of like a daily thing, weren't you? Uh, no yeah, I drive, my polo again went wrong, so I was driving this as a daily uh, for a bit, and then. Driving it, I, I don't know, the one thing I would say where Tom drives his Fiesta every day is a, like a daily, you, you don't enjoy it as much as if you had like a day, like as if you did have a, a real day. Yeah, you go, yeah. like it's like when I'm at work and I have to like go, whenever you drive another car it's a lot slower than your, your sort of like your project car for like an hour or so, when you get back into your actual car, you appreciate it so much more, you feel oh, yeah, like, shit that's a lot of power coming from this thing, like. I Sometimes drove, you take it a lot for granted, you don't yeah, realise yeah, what yeah. you're running. I, be, I drove, uh, it was only, I think I drove this two weeks daily, just before the gearbox went, and uh, yeah, that was, uh, see, I will not get bored of it, because you, you can't get bored of it, but when I, then when I got the polo back on the road, I took that for a spin when it was working again, and about two, three days later, I uh, took this for a spin, and it was just felt like something like Yeah, it literally, it's like when you go on holiday, you leave your car in the garage a couple of weeks, you get back, you're like, Everything. oh my god, yeah. what is this? What have I bought? 